Hey everybody, thanks for joining us out here today on the VSA Gun Channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of field testing, and to be honest, uh, this is not a, the type of video that I typically like to do uh, for ammunition because it's just usually not applicable for most of the ammo that we shoot. Um, but, uh, if we're open and honest and transparent, the largest recurring cost that I have uh, in making videos for you or testing and evaluating products for companies is ammunition costs. So, typically what we do is we bring ammunition in either uh, direct or at a reduced rate uh, from suppliers and manufacturers to meet the demands of our rigorous testing. Whether that's you know R&D for a company or producing a video for you guys so that you guys can get a general sense of whether something is a good product or not, right? Um, that's a lot of ammo to do. And I don't think it's fair to just shoot like 100 rounds through a, through a gun or something like that and say, hey, yay or nay. Like you have no idea if you're doing that. So my minimum is 1,000 rounds on any gun. So that's a lot of ammo. And that's a lot of uh, money that goes towards uh, testing and evaluating, especially if you look at the volume and stuff that we do here. So today what we're going to be doing is testing Fiocchi's uh, 223 ammo. This is their 223A ammo. This is 55 grain boat, uh, FMJ boat tail. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. I'll roll on a tight one. Uh, but this is the stuff that we typically use for uh, most of our 556 applications today. And the reason I thought I would do this video is um, Fiocchi is not trash ammo, right? It's not, um, it's not like your wolves and and you know those ammos that you find. Uh, you know, the steel case stuff or even the brass case stuff is not the, you know, the stuff that you find at the bottom and it's not match grade either. You know, it is not, uh, it's not expected to give you match grade performance. Um, and it does not carry the low price point or the high price point. It's in the middle and they've threaded the, the needle right there. So, um, what we have found, uh, through the several months of using their ammunition is that it is probably the highest value ammo that you're going to be able to find on the market today and how we're going to do that is i'm just going to shoot some groups uh, with my rifle here and we're going to test the velocity the group size and the ejection pattern and for that i'm going to be using my mi 15 f it's a 16 inch gun that uh, is fitted with my griffin optimus on it we're going to be using the pro chrono digital uh, chronograph over there and we're going to be shooting at 50 yards so remember the green box stuff the stuff that you find at Walmart, which is the stuff that we use. Um, if we crack this stuff open, this looks like a fairly decent piece of ammunition if you just looked at it right off the top of your head. I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but we'll go ahead and put that in there uh, right like that. But we're going to go ahead and do some shooting and see what kind of results we get. Now remember this stuff is usually advertised velocity for, real quick, let me pull this up. It is supposed to be, actually, I just got a text from the Fiocchi rep. It is advertised velocity of 3240 out of a 24 inch barrel. Today I'm gonna to be shooting a 16 inch barrel. So um, we expect to see that significantly lower. And what we're going to do is actually to report those findings to Fiocchi and you'll probably see um, those numbers appear in their future catalog. We're trying to get them to, because uh, who uses 24 inch barrel anymore? I mean, really, the vast majority of AR-15s that are out on the market have a 16-inch barrel in them. So they should have advertised velocities at 16 inches, right? So that's what we're trying to do here today. So I'm going to set up the cameras, and we're going to get shooting. Twenty-eight. Eighteen. Twenty-eight, twelve, twenty-seven, eighty-nine. 29 
2772. All right, let's go approach and see what it looks like down there. All right, down here at 50 yards, as you can see, one ragged hole, and we don't really need to throw a uh, tape measure on it because my sunglasses fit nice and easily in there. One ragged hole at 50 yards. Um, now, curiously, I would like to see this group a lot higher than that, and I don't understand why it's not. The only thing I can think is I was shooting on one power, and I didn't realize I was shooting on one power until the sequence was done uh, being shot, and I'm going to blame, blame myself for incorrectly uh, perceiving the target. They're very consistently at um, a, a low position. Um, the only thing I can think is I, I was aiming for the very center, and that's typically where I would like to see it. Uh, remember, the center dot on that scope is 2 MOA, so it was probably me. Now, easily sub MOA, uh, which is the whole reason I wanted to do this video for you guys, is uh, for the type of price point that we're looking at for something like the Fiocchi loading, uh, 55 grain, uh, good luck finding this performance somewhere else. And, and that's what I really wanted to, to drive home to you guys is this ammo is super consistent. And I just think that when we come across a product like this um, that is doing it right and not charging uh, out the ass for it, it's something you guys should be aware of. So remember, uh, that gun was a little bit overgassed. You guys saw that on the ejection pattern, ejecting a little bit far forward. Um, and that's because it was suppressed, right? So um, suppressors do not influence velocity. Uh, stop playing Call of Duty. They have nothing to do uh, with the velocity, a modern silencer should not influence the velocity at all. And uh, they definitely don't slow it down. If anything, it might increase the velocity just ever so slightly, maybe 20 feet per second, uh, because of the excess back pressure created by the device. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did, share it around. Hopefully this will drive Fiocchi to start uh, a trend in publishing their data at 16-inch uh, barrels, which is what the whole world uses now. Uh, because that's what the United States uses, America. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. We'll see you guys on a future video.